Potential Transformers. The next type of transformer we will cover is the potential transformer symbolized as PT, or sometimes known as voltage transformers symbolized as VT. Similar to current transformers, potential transformers scale down the voltage passed through them as opposed to the previously mentioned current. The scaled down voltage is then routed to a protective relay for measurement. Also as in current, a PT is classified with a conversion ratio indicating the amount the primary voltage is scaled down. For example, 60 to 1 scales the primary voltage down to 120 volts. There are two different types of potential transformers used today the electromagnetic voltage transformer and the capacitive voltage transformer. Electromagnetic voltage transformers are usually used when accurate metering needs to be performed for lower voltage applications. Capacitive voltage transformers are commonly used in high voltage transmission line applications where the voltage is higher than 66 kilovolts. Electromagnetic voltage transformers have dense winding drops designed to accurately scale down the voltage and make sure the ratio is consistent for all variations in the input voltage. Due to the small amount of voltage drops per winding, the electromagnetic voltage transformers will increase in size as the rated primary voltage also increases. Likewise, the cost of electromagnetic voltage transformers tends to increase at a disproportionate rate to the primary voltage rating. Capacitive voltage transformers, or CVTs, are normally used on higher voltage applications. The CVT is basically a capacitance potential divider and consists of the following components. Coupling capacitors, typically 10. Compensating reactor. Step-down transformer and a ferro-resonance suppression circuit that is found just before the output terminals for connecting to a relay. The accuracy of a PT's operation is specified in the displayed label format. The first item in the label indicates the accuracy class of the PT. The three common accuracy classes are 1.2, indicating PT accuracy between 98.8 and 101.2%, 0.6, indicating PT accuracy between 99.4 and 100.6%, and 0.3, indicating PT accuracy between 99.7 and 100.3%. The next character in the label is a letter designating the burden rating. The typical burden designations and their corresponding ratings are as follows. The W rating indicates the PT will operate accurately as long as the burden doesn't exceed 12.5 volt amperes. The X rating indicates the PT will operate accurately as long as the burden doesn't exceed 25 volt amperes. The Y rating indicates the PT will operate accurately as long as the burden doesn't exceed 75 volt amperes. The Z rating indicates the PT will operate accurately as long as the burden doesn't exceed 200 volt amperes. And the double Z rating indicates the PT will operate accurately as long as the burden doesn't exceed 400 volt amperes. If at any time the burden exceeds the PT's rating, the accuracy classification will be compromised. In this example, the PT rated 0.6 double Z would have an accuracy between 99.4 and 100.6% as long as the burden of the PT remains under 400 volt amperes.